So this is a regular expression that we use, but we don't know like we are using that, but this is a regular expression. The name for it is the regular expression. Same thing here, when you do it, so you go to object repository, and now wherever just you see this flight reservation number, this is object, right? That changes dynamically. Tax order number 375. So don't change any object name here. All you have to do is change the object property. Whatever the property that changes, you are going to modify that property. All the properties are displayed on the right side for this object, right? So you go to this object property and then just click on this configure the value. This small button what you see here, the purple button, just click on this. And now you'll get this window. You're going to check this checkbox, regular expression. And it's going to give you a confirmation window. Hey, do you want to really add any backslash in your expression? Say no to this win this confirmation. And now you can do your regular expression. Whenever you do the regular expression, basically you're going to look at what is that changing dynamically. So here you're going to look at only the number keep changes, right? In the title, the numbers keep changes, whether the rest of the thing is same. So I want, I'm going to replace that number. After dot, without any space, I'm going to put star. After dot, any space, I'm going to put star. So that what it means is you are asking it QTP, hey, whatever this window title, after dot, Whatever the number it is, please go ahead and complete your script, complete the execution. So this is the regular expression. We're going to replace that number because that number changes in the title. Replace that with star. And then, so click OK. Similarly, you got on one more entry here, the object, right? Do the same thing for the second object also because this also changes dynamically. Again, come here. Click on this purple button and then check this regular expression checkbox. Say no and replace that number with dot without any space star. Click OK. Close this window. The purple button, you have to click on this value column. Then only you see the purple button. So wherever just you see, yes, so this is the Tax order number right, you just click on that value column so that you see the purple button. Okay, and then so now we are going to click OK and now let's try to run it so that you don't see that particular error this time. Okay, you see here, though it says fax are the number 378, but still your script works, and also it put the digital signature using the 10 log recording mode, and then your script is good now. So that it sends the fax. So this is where, in order to capture those mouse moments, you can go for 10 log recording, and then wherever this object changes dynamically, you can go with the regular expressions. Can somebody give an other example where you come across these regular expressions? Anybody, any idea? Where you come across these kind of regular expressions? Did you come across this situation? Hello? Yes. Uh, writing when we uh, write SQL queries? Yes, SQL queries, yeah. Let's collect there. Yeah, there you're going to use the select star from so and so table. It's going to bring all the data. Um, yeah, but my question is uh, uh, where you come across this 
regular expression objects, the objects that change is dynamically in applications. Gmail inbox, very good, right? So if you look at uh, your Gmail or Yahoo Mail inbox link, right? So there actually you will get some hundred mails or something like that number keep changes, right? Depends on how many hundred mails in your inbox. Basically that inbox is a link and that changes dynamically. So this other scenario where you can go with the regular expressions to handle that scenario. Okay. So wherever you come across any dynamic objects, you can think of the regular expressions. The object that changes at one time. Yes, and also the date and times. Sometimes maybe the date is uh, hard coded in the links. Yes, so those are also very good examples. Okay. Any questions? Okay, the next one is the low level recording. So we looked at the analog recording, which is going to basically capture the track. But low level recording is something you want to record the location. In some of the applications, so, um, something like any map based applications, right? Um, or even if you look at here, the paintbrush, right? Here, no, I don't want to use the tracks. Instead, when I say, for example, I want to draw a rectangle. Right, so this is basically the location. So this is the x and y location, and uh, this is uh, the x and y location. Right, even you see here, this toolbar says what's the location of that particular starting point. Right, this says 5245, and this is 628 352. So here it says the location. So I want to capture these locations. So that's where you can think of going with um, low level recording. Because analog recording don't tell how you're doing this, uh, the, the rectangle. All it do is the track. So it's going to capture this rectangle in the track. But no, I don't want the track. I want to see exact location where I'm doing this rectangle, right? So why we why we need that is because tomorrow just you want to modify that rectangle. I want a smaller one. I want a big one. So that's where you can you can do this um, low level recording. So let me explain the scenario. Uh, what does what does the other characters represent? So basically, like you can um, if you want to explore more uh, all those uh, regular expressions, like where you can use the scenarios. Under help, okay, let me say this. Okay, the other characters where you can use. Um, you just go to this uh, quick test process help. That's where um, depends on. Most of the time, the star is very useful character. But if you see here, regular expressions, uh, regular expressions, which Object match object. They're going to talk about here regular expressions. Yeah, somewhere they're going to talk about all those characters. Hmm. 
Yeah. So here they talk about so where you can use the different characters, like a versus scenario, whether you can use the start character or you can use the place, question mark, and all this. These are the special characters. Okay. So sometimes they also give some examples like where you can use this one. So something like this. So for example, if the year is keep changing, right? So the date. So you can use this. So nineteen one nine six is common, right? And then there are different years for nineteen sixty seven, sixty eight, and sixty nine. So you can select randomly any of those years, right? Maybe from the list box or from somewhere. Then you can also handle this through this package, like we are going to mention all those years, seven, eight, nine, so that it's handled for any year. Okay.